recorded in the Cougar Sports Network studios at Sandy Creek High School. Cougar Countdown to Kickoff is brought to you by Cougar Vision HD of the Cougar Sports Network. Counting you down this evening is your host, Jeremy Bohr. Hello and welcome to the Cougar Countdown to Kickoff pregame show. I'm your host, Jeremy Bohr, and I'll be with you recapping the week in Cougar sports as we prepare for the Sandy Creek Cougars football team to take on the David City Scouts here at 7 p.m. at Cougar Stadium. We'll be joined with special guests Brayton Drossick of the Cross Country Team, Marin Martin, Kaylee Tripe, and Jaden Claycamp of the volleyball team, and some senior football boys, Rodney McDonald, Kiefer Anderson, and Parker Sintek, as they all recap how their seasons are going so far and kind of give us a glimpse into the future of what to expect as their seasons continue. Stick with us here after the break as we meet up with Brayton Drossick of the Red Raider Cross Country Team. Did you know only 45% of students are positive about their college and career readiness? The Nebraska CAPS program is working to change that. Pairing students with a mentor in their field of interest. Providing real world work experience not found in the ordinary classroom. Preparing students for life after high school. Working one-on-one -on -one with students, no matter what their interests are. Partnering with local businesses for the best experience for you. The Nebraska CAPS Program, inspiring career readiness. And we're back with Brayton Jurassic, senior cross-country runner for the Red Raiders. And uh, Brayton, you guys had a meet yesterday in Fairbury. Wasn't the nicest day ever, but how, how'd the meet go? It went pretty well. I mean, I stuck with the lead. I was up in the lead for a while. Stuck with the lead pack as long as I could. Fell off around the third, fourth K. Those were a little slower again. But other than that, it was pretty good. A little chilly. Yeah. It started drizzling on us about yep. mid, midway through. But What kind of course is it at Fairbury? What, is it a hilly course, a flat course? Well, what, what are you dealing with there? It's a pretty hilly course. I mean, we run two laps in the same spot. So they say hit the same two hard hills. Pretty, pretty tough hills. Hit them gotcha. twice. So yeah, it's, it's a, one of the You're, tougher courses. We're it's a tough here. course, all right, yeah. Well, you guys did well. You got fifth place yesterday uh, individually, and uh, a good finish for you. It was a pretty tough competition, I would imagine, at the Fairbury meet. Yeah, we saw some state competitors. Not so, we didn't see anybody in our district there, but we saw some tough state competitors we'll see in the state meet. Well, that's good. So as we go on, talking about state and all that, how is your season going so far? It's only your second meet, it's pretty early, but how since practice has started, how is the season going for the Red Raiders? It's going pretty well. We're running better than last year. We are short one guy we were hoping to have this year. He decided to go with football, but mm -hmm. other than that, we're running a pretty good season. Practices have gone well. Everybody's been staying pretty healthy. I haven't had too big injuries yet. That's good. So. That's good. Well, I hope that keeps up that way. Um, as the season continues on, what are you personally for yourself? I know you've made it to the state meet before. What are you looking forward to? What are your goals as the season goes on? Well, I'm hoping to get back to state meet and bring home a medal this year. Is what I'm really hoping for. I mean, it's gonna be tough. Got to put a lot more work in. Not quite where I want to be yet, but still got still got seven meets left before then. All right. Well, so. uh, yeah, we we're rooting for you and excited for all the Red Raiders uh, here at Sandy Creek. So we want to thank Brayton and give you good luck the rest of your season here. Uh, we'll be back after the break with volleyball players Kaylee Tripe, Jaden Claycamp, and Marin Martin. Hey Connor, what are you bringing to the classroom this year? I'm bringing tasty treats. Ooh, yeah. What about you? I'm bringing an eye for detail. Say cheese. Cheese! Can I bring my paintbrush? Bring it. Can I bring the heat? Yes, you can definitely bring that. They're bringing it. How about you? What will you bring to your education? We're back at the Cougar Sports Network studios here at Sandy Creek High School, and we're being joined by senior volleyball players Marin Martin, Haley Tripe, and Jaden Claycamp. It's good to talk to you guys today. And uh, Marin, we want to ask you: season's just getting underway. You guys played a few games. Um, how's how's the season going for you guys so far? Well, so far, I think in the beginning of the season we had a bit of nerves that we had to get out, and our first jamboree we played very well, and our Beginning games, I think we still have a lot to work on, but 
we are improving and we're so much better than we were last year. That's, that's great. And she talked about improving, Jaden. That's what leads to my next question. What have you guys improved? Where have you guys improved as a team uh, from last year? Well, last year and the past years before that, we weren't really much of a team like as we were together. We weren't much of a family, but we've really come together on that part, and that just makes us a whole lot better than we have been in the past. That's awesome. That's a really good thing. Uh, Kaylee, this week you guys got your first win. You won in the Jamboree game, but you got your first win of the season against Wilbur Claytonia. Can you kind of give us a little insight and what was the key to that victory? Um, I think a big part of that was before the game or after the game, we were joking around uh, with Kinsey getting her hair pulled out. And uh, a lot of our passes were getting put together. We were starting to actually come together as a team more. And Jaden had some really good, good hits that got the team going. And our serves were always aggressive and in, and Wilbur kind of struggled with serve receive, so we took advantage of that on our part. Uh, good for you guys. That was a great win uh, down there, and you guys played Heartland that night and played them really close as well. Couldn't finish it out against them. Uh, and that leads in Saturday morning, Marin. You guys, tomorrow morning, you guys are playing out here at Sandy Creek. Uh, you start off with Arcadia Loop City. What are you kind of looking forward to in your home tournament here as seniors? We're looking forward to playing new teams and having new opportunities to beat them and compete. So we're excited for this weekend. Well, good. Good luck. I appreciate you guys coming here today and talking to us. Remember to tune in to Strive tomorrow on the Cougar Sports Network to watch all the girls' volleyball action starting at 10 a.m. at the Cougar Gym. Wish the girls luck and uh, stick with us because after the break, we'll be back with senior football players Rodney McDonald, Parker Sintek, and Kiefer Anderson. Hey, Jacob, what are you bringing to the classroom this year? I'm bringing my skills to build. Nice. Bring that technique. What about you? I want to learn from a pro. Can I bring a mentor? Yes, sir. Hey, let's get to work. Want to bring your career to the classroom? You know I'm in. I pick the path that's right for me and get college credits. Sweet. I know you'll bring it. They're bringing it. How about you? What will you bring to your education? We're joined in studio by senior football players Kiefer Anderson, Rodney McDonald, and Parker Sintek. And guys, you've had a good start to your season. Two and one so far. Couple good wins, um, Kiefer. What's the keys to your success so far this season? Well, I'd say the keys to our success is, success is a lot about has a lot to do with our coaches. You know, the first two years they didn't go too well, but this year they just have a lot more experience. They can just call the right blitzes, the right calls in offense and defense, and that just makes us get makes us use the right plays to get more touchdowns, the right defense to get more sacks and get the ball back. And then also our team chemistry is a lot better than it has been in the past years. We all just kind of know what's going on. Our line knows their assignments, and our quarterback trusts our line. He knows our receivers really well. He knows where to put the ball, and we, like where we want it. And then he also knows how to read the defense very well. He just knows when to pull it, when to give it, and when to go talk to coach. He says, hey, I see this. Let's go do this. And then he does it, and he usually gets a lot of yards. So, yeah. Right. Rodney, you talked about team chemistry. I think that formed in the summer, I would imagine. You guys had a really good summer in the weight room. Can you talk about how that's helped your season? Yeah. Um, everybody started buying in, finally. Um, everyone started showing up to weights every day. We knew what we needed to do to have a successful season this year. And so everybody was there. Everybody was getting stronger, getting faster. Everybody wanted to be there because we all wanted the same thing. We all wanted to win at the end of the season or get to the playoffs is our goal. So. Yeah, I don't know. That being in the weight room just built our chemistry a lot more than what it was in the last couple of years. That's great. And you could tell too, you're just a lot stronger. You're down fourteen to nothing last week against Hershey at halftime. Mm -hmm. Things weren't looking your way. You guys went 21, 28 unanswered in the second half. You were a stronger, more physical team in the second half than Hershey was. Leads to the weight room. You finished it off, Parker, with a pick six to ice the game there at the end. Can you tell us about that second half and what you kind of did changed up at halftime to get you in that groove in the second half? Yeah, well, I think we came into the game underestimating them a little bit, and that's why they got up 14-0 on us. Went to the locker room at halftime, gave each other a good talking to, we fixed what we needed to fix, and we came out knowing that we were going to kick their butts. Um, we, we made some adjustments defensive and offensive-wise. Started running the ball a lot more with Rodney. He got 150 yards just running the ball. Um, we went four touchdowns unanswered. Um, 
Rodney had a, after our first touchdown, Rodney kicked the ball to himself and recovered it, and then we yeah. went down and scored again. The onside was a big play. That was a big play. And we had another we had another special teams. Rodney <laughs> punted the football, and the kid muffed it, and I went down, picked it up, and then we scored again. So, yeah. Yeah, I would say that second half was big, and hopefully we can build off that. And Rodney, tonight you guys play David City. It's a team we've never played before uh, for a long time, so we're not familiar with them. What should we look forward to tonight when you guys go out there on the field? Yeah, um, well, we've watched plenty of film on them. We know, I think we know what they're going to be running on offense and defense. Uh, we know we have to stop their quarterback, number three. He's a big playmaker for yep. them. And uh, on offense for us, if we block him, we should be all right because he's their big playmaker on defense too. So pretty much just keep number three away from the ball and we should be all right. Well, we're looking forward to it, guys. Good luck tonight and uh, the rest of the season. This is all the time we have tonight here on the uh, Cougar Kickoff pregame show. Thanks for watching. Remember, stay tuned. Up next is the Sandy Creek Cougars take on David City Scouts here live on the Cougar Sports Network.